I'll show a quick video using the uh, simulator, the iPhone simulator. You'll notice that the mouse cursor is floating around. Uh, obviously you won't see that when you're running this on the iPhone or the iPod Touch. Uh, this is what happens when you start the game. And you'll see uh, your high scores and you can choose continue game or new game. It does save the game if you receive a phone call or stop the game for any other reason. I'm going to go ahead and select new game. Now the goal of the game is to match patterns and this is the pattern you're supposed to match which is down here in the lower left hand side of the of the game. If you want to pause the game you can hit the menu it'll take you right back to the high scores and of course you can press continue again. So what you want to do is you want to spin these hexes. You want to add, you want to build that pattern right there on the screen. So what I'm doing is one of the tricks is that you move two triangles at a time between hexes. You can see I'm moving these two yellow triangles and I just got a score. If you look at the pattern down here, you'll see that there's sort of a clock that's going around. If you let that clock go all the way around, you lose a life. You start off with six lives, and throughout the game you can get new lives as you're playing. So I need to kind of hurry up the demo because I'm going to lose this life if I don't do this. So here we go. Another trick. Just move two right up next to each other here and drop it over. I'm going to spin this around so that I can get these two. And then you'll notice here this one has a little arrow on it. By the way, this is the pattern I'm trying to get. I'm about a quarter of the way through the time. I can't move it this way if I try. with that funny noise. But I can spin it this way, which is what the arrow indicates. So now I'm going to go for green. Let's see, what's a good move here? I'll move this up here. Move this around, move this guy up there, and do that. Uh, as the game goes on, this time that you have for each pattern gets shorter and shorter. So this will get increasingly f uh, faster as it moves around. I'm on level one right now. I've only got 8,000. Um, <clears> so it's, you know, it's pretty easy at this point. See, I'm moving in. Got those. Oh, I take this one. I'm going to move this one around. Again, I'm using the mouse. It's really not as easy as it is using your finger. Here's the next pattern. There's one where I can only move it this direction. Now this one, I can't move in either direction. You can see if I try to move it in either direction, it doesn't let me do that. But that doesn't mean I can't move around it. So, while the locks can be kind of a pain, you can still play the game around them. Here's a lock. I can't move this one, but I can move this one. And one of the tricks, by the way, while you're doing this, and this is my next pattern, is the red, is to click the center or pick with your finger the center of the hex, and then you can move away from it and, and rotate. So remember that you want to pick on the center of the hex that you want to rotate. Like, I want to rotate this hex, so I'm going to pick there, and then I can rotate. I want to pick this one, and then I'm going to rotate. All right. Go here. Spin this guy around. Spin this one around. Spin this one around. And again, the game gets harder and harder. We're about to get up to level two here. And with every level increase, you get more locks on the screen and you get less time. So it can get kind of frustrating, actually. So now I'm at level two. As you can see, that just changed. I'm going for some oranges. Move this guy here. This guy here. Rotate this around. I got orange. Now it's asking me for red. Oh, by the way, there's a two times score right there. Um, if you use that triangle when, create, when completing a pattern, you'll get two times the score. And that, by the way, is the score you'll get when you complete. So the longer you take to create the pattern, obviously the lower the score you'll get. Oh, that's kind of a trick. Now look, we can use this two times now. I'll move this down here, move this over here. Sometimes you might want to think about the fact that you don't want to use one of these little high score guys or uh, multipliers if it's going to slow you down because, because that score is going down as you try. It may be better just to go ahead and get a, a, a uh, 
a pattern somewhere else on the screen and not try to go for that times multiplier, but that's part of the strategy. So I'm going to get this guy, and that wants me to get green. And the number of those two times, and there's a five times, there's a ten times, and there's a one up. There's a two times there. One up indicates that you'll, when you, if you use the one up, one of these, you'll get an extra life. And you want to kind of use those early in the game because later in the game it gets pretty hard and um, pretty difficult to do. So you want to try to gather as many of those as you can while you can, while it's still kind of easy to do. So I'm going for red. See, I got a couple two times here, but they're with a different color. And that's, that's basically the game. It's very addictive. And here's an interesting one. You know, just because there's a lock here doesn't mean I can't use it to create a pattern. I just can't spin this one. Um, but I can spin around it, so that actually, you know, it's not so bad. Here's, a, here's an interesting one here. I've got a, two, a five times, or two times. I'm going for a purple pattern. So I'm going to use a five times and a two times at the same time, which means I get ten times, which took me up a level and gave me a pretty good score. So that's always a good thing to do to kind of, if you can, combo those uh, multipliers because it'll give you some really high scores. That's pretty much it. Another thing is you hit the menu. Obviously you can pause if you stop the game. Uh, it'll pause. A little help screen here. It's um, just kind of gives you some hints. It tells you uh, about the pattern that you're trying to get. It talks about the score that you'll get. This is your, your score, your current score. If you just click down in here, touch down in here, I keep saying click because I'm using a mouse, but if you just touch down in here, it kind of switches between the help screens and just sort of shows you um, how the game works. So you can get done. You can continue your game. Oh, here's an interesting one. As you go along and you get to higher levels, it starts adding different colors to the pattern that you have to match. And you can see that I've already set this one up pretty quickly, but the, mat, the pattern has to match not just in terms of the colors, but in terms of where the colors are in the pattern. So you got to remember that while you're playing. So let me just finish up this blue because I'm going for blue right now. And one of the things you should, there's another pattern that is um, uh, two colors. As you get into higher levels, you can get <laughs> two or three different colors, or I think three colors is the maximum number of different colors, maybe four. Um, you can get, it gets really, really, really uh, difficult once you start getting a little higher. So I'm going to move this down here. You'll see that I won't get it as soon as I finish this. I have the pattern I want, but I have to move this guy around to the bottom to finish it. So I'll just do a couple more and I'll finish this video off because I don't want to waste any more of your time. You guys want to start playing. And that's it. Hope you enjoy.